I've got, this is the Happy Mail that I got from Annabeth Martins. And I've used a little bit of it already in there. She sent this fabulous paper with the shoe tags. But there's still plenty of stuff left. So I'm going to kind of spread it out. See what we've got. And this is what is left from Fina's package that she sent. These were some of the leftovers that I didn't use and some things that I set aside because, you know, they're good standalone pieces that I wanted to use um, in a different way, not put into a junk journal. So I've got this I can pull from to go with these. And then I've got, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, so I've got some uh, packaging that I can incorporate. There. Um, envelopes from the Happy Mail and then yesterday's junk mail. That's what I've got and all these. I really should sort through these because some of these I do want to save for something else, but then others are just extras that can be used. Okay, if I start fussing over that, I won't use any of it. I'll save it all. So I'm not going to do it. Now, so let's figure out what to use. These, let me flip through here and see if there's anything that catches my eye. I like that page. Sort of an old looking. Oh, how fun! <laughs> yeah. We heart Fort Bend. I live in Fort Bend County. Let me use that. Okay, none of the rest of that is doing anything for me. It goes in the recycle sack. I got a couple of these in the mail today. I got two, and I don't need either of those. Oh, container store. They often have pictures of things that are usable. Okay, the rest of this, that's just a pretty room right there. The colors, nothing else. Alright, those may or may not get used, but they caught my eye. I kind of paused on them as I was flipping through. So, I pulled them out. Now, I'm going to use parts of these envelopes, like this postage thing here. I'm going to cut that off because it's taped down. I might use that because it's just a little interesting. Ephemera. This is from Sonia. It's got my address on it, so I'm looking at it over here. But I'm thinking... Okay, here we go. Here's what we'll do. I can put my name on my journal, right? And then this piece on the back. My make an interesting something. Getting it down to manageable sizes. Now, packaging. Um, I kind of like that. That's right here. See, it's already got a shape. Maybe I need several. Maybe I should save those for my house book. They look like little houses. Ooh. Ooh, the ideas. Right, anything else on there? Look at 
be a something. It could be a, a tab. Okay. Ah, this one's not, not uh, thrilling me. These don't have anything thrilling. Sometimes I peel off the press stickers and I've been putting them on my drop paper. <laughs> this whole piece of drop paper is covering my dining table, which seats eight comfortably, so it's large. And I have been just, um, you know, doing some projects on it, so it's got paint and junk all over it, plus it's got little collage bits, like press stickers. I don't know why Hobby Lobby still uses press stickers. I mean, who does that? That is so not common anymore. They need to get with the program on that. Okay, that one won't come off. It gives me too much trouble. I don't need it. Okay, and I do think I'm going to put these two aside for my house book. I'll use this one. And I don't, you know, the book is already fat, and it's going to get fatter, which is fine, but I don't want to overdo it. So I peel cardboard whenever I can. This one's already started peeling in the corner. But you can usually just kind of do this on the corner and get it to peel. And I just take off as much of the bulk as I can, keeping the parts that I want. So now I can just throw this bulky part away and then I've got this nice thin piece that won't add too much to my book. Tip of the day. Okay. I was playing with this earlier. Okay, this one. Yeah, I may use that. And I was looking. I love these girls. I want to do something with these girls. And I had them, I think I had them sitting on here. These are both from Annabeth. Oh, yeah. See, look. She's got a little red hat and red in her dress and then the red tall background. That's just precious, right? Yeah, I'm going to use them on there. Now, is there any other little embellishment to use with them? I am not really seeing anything jumping out at me. With the whole red thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so these, see, there's one page right there, or one piece. Now, I wanted to do something with this napkin, which also needs to be peeled. Sometimes they have two layers, sometimes they have three, and sometimes it's hard to tell. This looks like a two layer. Then you can save this and stamp on it if you want to. There's that. These ladies might actually look nice. Well, they do look nice on there because look at their little dresses. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this apart. I think I need I need that. And then these gals, I am not going to fussy cut. I'm just going to give them a little, you know, silhouette cut. There we go. I need that. That I don't think I need. Okay. So, oh, they look quite nice on there. Either way, really. I wonder if maybe they want to go on the cover, because I really, really kind of like that. Where's my book? Oh, look. Oh, yeah. I 
think they do, don't they? Okay. Don't want to wrap it all the way. Don't want to leave my binding exposed. Why would I want to do that? No reason. I'm going to wrap it all the way. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. My, uh, this is not my usual glue container. It's where I put my excess Mod Podge that came out of a gallon-sized thing that broke. And I just haven't put it into my usual Mod Podge container, which is this one that I've been using for water. <laughs> so nothing is in its right place, but that's okay. I'm just going to Mod Podge this napkin onto this book. I'm adding a little water to thin it out. I think I'm going to um, heat this a little bit. Use my heat gun and dry it before I start trying to handle it too much because otherwise it's just going to kind of rip to shreds like that. So, let me go heat this up a little bit so I can handle it better, and then I'll keep going. Okay, I finished gluing the napkin on, and it's not completely dry. These will turn clear when it dries all the way through, but it's dry to the touch. So, I'm going to keep going. While it was still wet, I laid my little girls down on there and put some other pieces from that pattern package. So, got a good start on my cover. Now, let's do a page. And I was thinking about these little girls on this background, right? Okay. Let me just find a good spot for them. I'm not really wanting to cover up Alice at this point. I don't have to go in order. Let's Okay, look, there's a whole a whole page with nothing. And I think that's the perfect spot for them. I have been using a lot of this Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue in here. It is it dries sticky, so if you have glue squishing out, you gotta take care of it or it will be sticky forever. But it's really good for adhering paper to paper because it is super sticky and it dries super fast. So, and there's absolutely no wrinkling or buckling or anything like that with this glue. I'm going to trim it to fit the page, and this bottom is cut straight, so I'll line it up at the bottom. Press it down good, and then trim it. Now, back here. There's my girls. There they are. Now, I could, you know, trim this up. I could do a, get a pencil or something and, and go around them, which I might, but for now I'm going to place them, and you know what, I'm going to put them down here and leave room to add more goodies, because that's what this is all about, right? Alrighty, there's my little girls, good start on them. What else? Okay, this one, I saw a blank page earlier. I've got dried glue on all of my fingertips and I can't feel anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking about here. And why would I put it there? Because it fits. That's kind of like, it's the universe telling me that it wants to go there because it fits so perfectly. 
you know, if it wasn't meant to be, I would have to trim it or do a border or something. But no, it's just ready to go. And then I can still add borders and embellishments, but that, I think, is where it needs to be. Okay. Good? Yeah. Alrighty. Now, what do we have? Uh, background paper book pages. I've used this one. I do not oh the map. I like that map. I could just put that on a random page and that way it's there. That's not bad. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh look. I think it needs to go there, and I think it needs to be torn all the way around, you know, like a treasure map. Perfect. Okay. What else? I wonder if I can peel this. It's not very thick, but every little bit helps. because I've got a lot in here, so I'll use the book pages in another area. What do I want to do with that? I've got this one too, but I think I want to color this one, so I'm going to set that one aside too. Okay, I've already been used, set aside. Use for something else, set aside. I want to color, set aside. Uh, use parts of use, set aside. Okay, everything else is fair game. Now, tonight I could just decorate a page on its own, just like that. Mm -hmm. It can, and it will. And get some feeling back in my fingers and peel this glue off. I like to peel glue off of. Anything, really. <laughs> There's just something cathartic about it. It's soothing to me. Okay, I know. Don't say it. Freak. There, I said it for you. Uh, well, there's a house. Do I need a house over here? I think I sure do. I'm going to make a house out of it. Shall we do that? Like with the door and everything? Let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, got an idea. Yay. Look at all these. I've got all these little rectangle stamps. Squares, rectangles. So one of these is bound to make a perfect door. <laughs> it needs a roof, though, you know? We need to define the roof. How are we going to do that? We're going to cover it with something uh, roofy, <laughs> you know, roofish, <laughs> rather. How about painted paper? Yeah, let's give it a painted paper roof. Okay, let's start there. All right, now, a chimney, which I said was going to be this one. That's too big. Yeah, that one. I don't want it there. Let me find a better place for it. Right there, because look, <laughs> it's like a tiny little cloud stamp. <laughs> oh, that almost looks like a chimney right there. 
<laughs> okay, meant to be. I'm wanting to put uh, uh, and gutters. I'm wanting to install gutters. <laughs> okay, this is my gutter. This little line from the map. Okay. Now I can add my chimney just right here. Will that come off? Nope. Ode to first grade. That's what that is. And I am thrilled with it. There's my house. Now, um, what else? Do you get the idea? I mean, I could just sit here and go on all day, but I just wanted you to get the idea of what I'm talking about when I say a, you know, scrap art junk journal or a, a Zibaldone, which translates into, I think it's hodgepodge book, meaning it's a little bit of everything. It's a little scrapbook. It's a little... Uh, art journal, a little junk journal, a little smash book, a little day book, a little diary, a little planner. You know, it's whatever. Uh, it doesn't have any one specific purpose. You just do whatever you want to in it. And this is what I want to. I want to make little arts out of random parts and pieces, especially those that I've received from other people. So I'm going to continue to add to this. And I will um, video some updates as I go along so that you can see where it goes. And I hope that you will give something like this a try because it's super fun and super easy and super not stressful. I mean, for Pete's sake, we just made a house that pretty much <laughs> any second grader <laughs> could do better. But it was fun putting it all together. I really, really liked that. <laughs> So, that's it. The end. <laughs>